Hello guys, every good name is taken here and welcome to another video. And today we have the second um, episode of Road to the Yesterby. Last time we were close to be getting the Chihe, which we will probably get after the first game that we play in the Chiha. And then it probably will um, stick with the Chihe since it takes a lot of um, experience, like 3k for the turret. 3.5 for the guns. Let's just see at the start which one we should go for. 87 millimeters, 70 damage, or 120 and 70 millimeters. So obviously, oh no, that's not where I wanted to click. To get to the Gino faster, we need to get this gun only. This is optional, but it takes less experience. Uh, let's just see the uh, gun type. Uh, yeah, that's the stock gun is the same that you get there in front of the tank, and it does not really make a difference whether we get this gun or not. So I'm planned for today: get this turret, get this gun. Tracks are unnecessary, really, and then try to get the tank. Um, so. You might think now, where, why is there no steam um, and this video? Um, I'm not home this weekend, um, same for the weekend afterwards. So this is a, um, a longer video as a replacement. Um, I hope you're alright with it. Though, um, as the poll decided that I made on the Discord server, if you're not on it, you can feel free to join the link in the description down below. And basically, what I asked there was, um, because I have the time to do it, um, a second stream per week. And I asked um, between Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, and 19 of you guys voted um, for Wednesday, which is like the highest that got voted for. And so there will be a stream though, so that you don't miss out on that. And let's just play our... Last game in this game, uh, in this tank. And actually, the sound is a bit loud. Let's just turn it down a little. I hope you can bear with me. I did not notice it was that loud. So, first game, we are on mines again. I think that's even where we, where we stopped. Or was it Fort Despair? I can't quite remember. But nevertheless, we are on mines, and we played this a couple of times during the last episode. So I guess it's quite frequent what I'm gonna do with my tank. I will all play them probably um, quite um, similar since, well, the playstyle doesn't really differ in between the tanks, so yes. And I also got a question for you, um, what do you think about these live gameplay episodes? Do you want to see more of them maybe? Or, I don't know, maybe there's something else that you would be preferring, like only do recorded but with commentary of course. Or, well, do you want to see more of them? I would just like to know that, so please leave a comment in the well, comment section down below. Because I will read every single one of them. That's why I'm also giving hearts to the comments to show that I'm reading them. Just if you are curious. And let's just pick up this M7 now. Oh fuck, oh fuck, there's a Hetzer. Mm. And the murder complained for no support. Where did he die? Up there. Oh wow. Lower plate, not too hard to penetrate. Otherwise, it would have been a struggle, so it was good that he pushed in front. Let's try to help out with this B1 over here. So, can we. The turret is penable. If we. Sh nope. He got in cover. But maybe from here, if he returns. Yep, there we go. Second kill. Nice, nice, nice. A third kill, actually. All of them on the tier 4 tanks, that's crazy. 
I'm like the high tier killer. Or all tier killer, whatever. Because I got all the kills on Tamo. Ouch, that hurt. Don't want to get shot by the Marder. That was close. Come on, shoot the martyr once so I can pick him up. Because I can't pick him in one shot, I don't want to die here, even though this should be good enough of a game. To get the needed experience. Let's just go them, let them go first, <laughs> and we just preserve our hit points as much as we can. Maybe we can deal with the other guy first. Ah, crap! Ah, oh, we missed. Ah, I wanted to get a Rezena actually. That was I was looking for, but whatever, we won. Nice game. Nice finish. Can we maybe get an ace here? Yes, we could. Nice. Oh, and a rare medal. Look at that. Yeah. Higher tiers. Four of them. And I killed all their tier fours, I think. Uh, no, that's just the name, I think. Yeah, that's... Tier four, tier four, tier three. That's the tier four. Didn't do that much damage, though. Quite surprising. But I guess I did the high tier killing, which also gives a lot of experience. And we got a message. Hey. <laughs> Hello, child magnet. Um, quite funny that you just messaged me now that I started recording. But whatever, let's buy the chi he. And I'm. May should I keep this thing? Nah, I have no need for low tiers. Alright, let's just equip this tank with a little bit of camo, because why not? Every bit helps. And get done. And by the way, if you have not noticed yet, until tier 4 I think it is, every crew is gonna be 100%. Maybe also to tier 5? I'm not certain though. So we got the engine already. We could free XP of course, but... Um, I'm not too much a fan of that, so we won't be doing it. And we can also start using free equipments now. And even one provision. And we're going for rights. Good, thanks. Well, uh, okay, ammo loadout, we probably are gonna need some premium. Or should we maybe go for at least a turret? So that we can go for the gun next. Ah, let's just do it. I mean, we have enough. Mm, do like this and like this. Should be good. And let's get into our first game with the Chihi. And we are top tier on fourth despair <laughs> again. It's not like we had some very good games on that map already. And actually, let's use um, the purple XP boost as well. What does he mean? Well, whatever. So, this is um, not the greatest of guns. And someone just shot blind there. Can we spot anything quick? Without really... <gasps> oh no. Mm, that's what I expected. Crap. 
That's why I wanted to reverse immediately, but he was quicker than I was. Unfortunately. Unless we can pen the lower plate, no problem. Oh, his driver is dead. That's unfortunate for him. Let's check them. Or not, because the pen is too low. And there's a steward. That we could farm, maybe. That we use our adrenaline. That we can finally use at tier 4. Uh, there's B1. We need to be careful about that. But he is a one shot, pretty much. So it's not too much of a danger. And let's help the steward out against the BT7 artillery. Let's actually use auto aim since in low tier you don't need to aim at really weak spots. At least on the light tanks and some mediums. Alright, and let's go for Mr. Steward. They only have Steward left actually. It's quite interesting. Mm. Ah, come on. He's too quick. You wanna hide from me or the other steward, mate? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, yeah. Not a one-shot, sadly. But I can still pick up the kill. And let's help with the others. So it's not the greatest of games, uh, damage-wise. But I think I can live with it. I mean, we are not fully upgraded yet, in terms of the gun. <laughs> so the higher one is a f faster firing gun, but the lower one is with more average. We got 2k experience, it's quite nice. What did he have to say? Not having the money for it. So, no. So, um, if some of you may be thinking, will I get the Smasher? No, here's your answer. And I will hopefully don't have to answer that again. So, the Smasher you can see here. How long is it? For two weeks? I will probably not be getting it. But we will see what the future is having for us prepared. So, um, didn't really check the post-game stats of that game, but I think we did alright, like four, five hundred damage, I think. Two kills, if I remember correctly. Or just one. Whatever. But it was a decent game for tier 4, I think. I mean, it does not have to be a crazy amount of damage, right? But the game queue is quite low, uh, long. There we go. Another tier 4 on 4 to spare. We got two Chihis actually. Where's the other one? He's there. And he has the same stock gun. Great. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do here. At least he has the um, top turret as well. They got two heads of stone and two A20s. Uh, this can be painful, depending on what gun they are using. Got a Panzer III, Panzer III A, BT-7 and an SU, and a Matilda. So he's not using the derp gun. Okay. But this gun has, I think, s around seven or eight seconds of reload, so we can shoot around twice. And I think he just shot as well. Come on, gun. Okay, should be good. We shot underneath, that's unfortunate, of course. And the shot went too high. So the gun is not the most reliable, or not the most accurate. It's 
<laughs> just as I say, if we hit such a crazy snapshot. But still, that's just a snapshot, and every tank can hit snapshots. If you take enough of them. I hate these cruisers, man. Even though they are made bad, they are still annoying as heck. Could have gotten the side of the Hetzer. Am I spotted still? Yep, I am. Nice. And our BT7 died. But the Hetzer does not seem to be interested in flanking. At least not too much. Let's see. The Matilda is holding good with the Chihi. Let's try going around. So, the Panzer Free I have not seen. The cruiser is doing a move I am not approving. Because it counters my move and he even spotted me before I got close to my spot. Making it even less effective. But we got him. That's oh, there's the panda. Nice. We got him sniped. But there's still an A20 lurking around somewhere, I believe. At least there should be. I want to track him, actually. Yep, and we accomplished it. So he's a sitting duck now. 666 damage, nice. Should give a lot of experience. Up the kill as well. And if we are lucky, the A20 is yes, AFK. So we can just fire him with ease. Oh, we still had our SU left, see? I didn't even notice that. And I just got spotted now. What? How does that work? I mean, I didn't even move an inch. No, we're not gonna get the kill, probably. Ah, <laughs> just a split second. But it was a good one. Good, good game. What? What? An ace? You're kidding? Okay, we got 500 assistance, but... Wow, that's surprising. Okay. I take it. But it's surprising, as I say. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there goes that. So we can get the gun now. Oh no, that's a quick fire. Okay, that's good. That's more of my liking. And let's do 14. And we get a good number there. 17. Or 70, actually. And I just want to check the stats here. So, uh... Here, so the Hago we aced, the Chini we aced, just want to see for them aces, the Chiha we aced, and now after some scrolling we aced the Chihi. That's nice, that's cool. It can go on like that. <laughs> if you can get an, at least one ace per tank, that would be great. I mean, the Chino might be hard, the Chito as well, because. I played them on the PC version of this and didn't really like him. And the Chi he, uh, the Chi Ri is all of his own, right? That's a challenging tank to play. 
Gut. But well, we are not that far yet. So the reload didn't change too much. Uh, M7, please stop with it. We were at 4.4 before, I think. Now we are at 5.3. So we increased in reload, but we also increased in alpha damage. Like, what was it? Something above 25%. And the reload wasn't... So it's definitely a DPM increase. That's what I wanted to say. Is it Chi Ha? That's, I think, the Chinese version. Okay, that's um, interesting. But I guess I just overpeaked. Even though I can't imagine there was enough of a tank sticking out for them to safely shoot me, but it seems I'm underestimating the enemy. Which I should probably not be doing. So I'm going to be going around a little bit. So this guy's stuck over. And it is actually the Chinese version, if I'm seeing that correctly. Can we get safe here? Oh, no, actually. Just really that M. 8A1 that is a bit of a pain in the ass in that position. Since he's blocking the movements to, um, towards here of that spot there. I don't know if you saw my cursor of the mouse there. But I guess we just should just go here. But I don't like them capping. Because that decreases my amount of experience I will gain. When I can pen that on that angle. That's insane. Nice, we got him down. There should be a lot of tanks around here at what? All behind this rock, as it seems. Yep, they are. That's uh, interesting. I say. Let's just focus on these here. Just hide behind this rock here so not get shot in the ass. He should be killed in a moment, so I'm gonna turn around already. And I was right. But I bounced. That one was a nice pen. Can we get one more shot in? Yes, we can. I like this gun. It's a bit more inaccurate and um, the aim time is a bit longer. But else? It's a nice tank. First class. Yeah, not half bad. The heads are did a good amount of damage. Even though I think he was sitting in the cap most of the time. But I guess he did his job, right? And where is this coming from? No idea. <laughs> Let's just get some boosts together. By the way, never I um tell or would, how you say it, recommend you to not combine these. But I think I will go over that in a future video, maybe. So we are basically 24 minutes in. I guess we could do it today, getting the Chi Nu at least bought. And maybe played once. Maybe I'm even going to do a longer series, or not series, episode than last time. Because, well, it's replacing a stream... And streams usually go two hours plus. And so, yeah, that answers that. I am not aware, because this video is gonna be coming out on Sunday, a uh, Saturday, if there's one video for um, Sunday, maybe a sub Sunday episode, maybe a different one. I can't tell you yet, because 
um, I'm having a strict um, schedule now um, to get the stuff that I need to do before I'm well going to friend so bear with me if there's none but if there is you will see it at Sunday or maybe I will pin a message in the comment section of this video maybe stating that there is gonna be coming one or not or maybe there is a hint somewhere in the video who knows and we are on mines again you know what we do on mines we go to the middle to this spot and bounce on enemy panzers <laughs> what how did that bounce that hit his cupola shouldn't it So, I read the average is 70, but it seems that we are only doing 60 damage hits the whole battle. I noticed that last game already. I don't know. Because I read 70. But I seem to get only 60s. By the way, look at this great gun depression. How much is it worth with 4.4. Hey, that's like that's like if we had a um, small gun. Uh, that was an unfortunate miss. Is it gonna come out? No, he not. Uh, how that hit, I have no clue. Because the reticle was not on him, but more on the ground. But I won't complain about a shot that hits and does damage. The gun is quite inaccurate, as I said. And I don't know how I don't pen that, because I penned it with the tier 3 and with the stock gun, which was basically the tier 1 gun. If I remember correctly, but... Well, my memory sometimes is off. And there's a Hetzer there, which is... A hell of an annoying enemy. He seems to be only aiming at me for some reason. And I mean, well, he's camping in a headset that proves my point. Because the headset is not a tank to snipe in. You have armor, so why should you stay back and don't use it? He back. Well, that won't change an outcome, uh, the outcome of this game and if we just all play passive. And don't take risks. <coughs> like crossing over here. He's just hanging on there, really. Ah, the gun. It misses so much. It's incredible. Not in a good way, but more in a bad one. Just look at this horrific aim time. The fuck? It's even longer than the reload of this gun itself. That was a good call because he immediately looked at, uh, immediately looked at me, so I knew he spotted me somehow. That's a short trick. If you don't know if you are spotted, because it takes three seconds for the light bulb. And if they start aiming at your direction, you know you are spotted. Just like this. So, play it carefully. Because HG is something you aren't gonna get back, unless you play mad games. <laughs> but well, that's a different story. And what is this guy doing? I think he had control issues or something. Hey, you got a ground. Well, we should be having him now. Nice game. 900 damage. That's more than I expected. 
but well fired. Like uh, t uh, 33 shots, if I saw that correctly on the right side. Let's see. <laughs> 33. We hit 19. Oh, that's not a good quote. But a first class. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. 81 hit ratio. Oh, that's not too good. Let's go for this second game. Or third in this one, actually. We are passing through the half an hour mark now. And yes, as it seems, the queue times do not like us that much again. I'm not really sure what to talk about now. <laughs> Because, um, I don't know, weird. When the queue time is so long. I mean, I don't have a chat, but I'm used to. When, uh, while well, recording live. I don't even know how I managed to do the last video. But, yeah. We are on Mirage for the first time of today's video. Let's just say hi back, even though I don't know if he knows me, or something. Or maybe he means someone else. Let's be friendly, regardless. Lel. Is there some mixture of help and left? Oh no, it isn't. Mm. Matilda. So many Matildas. I don't know. Can someone tell me, because I didn't really check it, but... I mean, I know they changed that tank to a heavy tank, because it was a medium before. But did they do something to their armor? Did they tweak it in some way? Did they maybe buff it or nerf it? I don't know. I'm just curious right now. Maybe one of you guys know it, or knows it. If not, not too much of an issue, I'm just... Would be good to know. Even though it does not really change anything about my playstyle. Let's see if we can get that SU. Or maybe the D2 as well. Would be good at least. We lost both Matildas now. Which is not good. Definitely isn't. Matildas are a strong tank at tier 4. Very strong. At least since the DW2 and the looks got nerfed into pieces. And are kind of useless now. But yeah, whatever. Let's just go with it anyway. I could have shot the SU there, but um, just saw it too late. Let's see if we can help this M8A1 out. That's a just shot, so maybe we can get him killed. Nice. Let's do something against this Panzer IV. Because he was stuck if I saw correctly. Um, no, he isn't stuck. It's not ha easy avoiding three tanks at once. So let's just go in front of him. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Lol. Shit, that other guy is coming back. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Please. Shoot him. Ah, a mate did not really help me in any way. Oh my god, he bounced. Let's push, let's push, let's push. And go around the house. 
before the headset gets us. Oh my goodness, are we lucky. This trick is luckily already damaged. So that's good for us to track him if needed. Nice, we got him. But he repaired, sadly. And finally, team is coming in. Come on, turn. Oh, his engine is destroyed, really. Yes, good one. He damaged it again, what the fuck. And he's mine. Whew, that's clutch. Four kills and I think it was over 1k damage if I saw that correctly. Oh! <laughs> Heck yes. That's a lot of damage. And that's at least a good ace, not compared to the first one. I'm happy about this one, I really am. That's a nice one. Sheesh. Um, yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get the, to play the Chinu today. If we are gonna play one game. One thing I would like to ask those who at least stay till the end. I will put a poll at the, pretty much at the end of the video, where you can vote for someone that I in the corner, um, which I use some of the times. I will vote for if I should be using FreeXP for getting those two things, or so turret and gun, or if we should only go for the engine, or if we shouldn't get anything, or all three. That's what I'm going to let you vote for, because I don't know, really. Maybe we should save it. Maybe it's better. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever you prefer, we will do in the next episode. Depending on how far we are going to get. But first of all, we are on full display again, playing true against two DW2s. I thought most of the people sold it because it just got bad and it's a collectible now. But apparently, apparently some people still like it enough to keep it. Two materials again. Quite um, common. BT7 as well. A Panzer 4D as well. It's well, there aren't really a lot of options nowadays anyway. So you shouldn't be really surprised by it, but it still blows my mind. Because there's not really a variety that you have anymore. I mean, yes, it makes the um, tech tree look simpler, but you just take the variety out of the game. It makes it, um, how do you say it? I don't know, more predictable. To what tanks you're gonna face, which is kind of sad, if you ask me, because I like the variety that this, this game has to offer, but just by removing it, it doesn't really improve the game overall. I mean, it was definitely good to nerf some of them, but they nerfed them actually to the ground. Like this D double two was such a great tank. I liked it a lot. Even though I didn't keep it. But they just made it horrible. Like it was it felt like a completely different tank to me. But that's just my personal opinion here. Nice high roll there. Let's help him with the Panda 3. Oh fuck. I did not expect him to be here. I just wanted to go for the Panzer, uh, for the BT-7. But now I'm gonna get killed by this guy. How the hell did he hit me? 
Yeah, ramen. Ah, uh, I messed up. Maybe the Matildas can do some work. I mean, this one is like pretty much so full. And the gun of the Matildas is just great. It's one of the greatest guns at tier 4 that you can get. This guy is stuck. Both gun and turret wise. So he has to be the one that carries. Turn your armor, nice and smooth. But she should be focusing one tank and not turn to that one tank, then turn again, and so on, you know. Yeah, this is over. GG. I mean, I can't expect to win every game, obviously, even though that would be fun and great. But it is what it is, right? I maybe play just too aggressively here. Which, um,. Change the outcome of this game. Not gonna say anything to that. Let's just answer him to not let him be waiting. I mean, who likes waiting, right? Okay, let's move on with Q time. I mean, why is it so long? I don't get it. And there's the first tier 5. As the only tier 4? Really? Really, Wargaming? You need to do that? I can't pen shit in this game. At least in the front. M7, possibly. Type, not in hell's name. Matilda, never. T34, same with the T35 type. T14, never. T1, never. SU, never. And he's not even fully upgraded. No! Fuck off! Ah. Uh. We got a T1 and a Churchill, and they got a T1 and a T14. So, yeah, let's just hope our heavies can do some work. Huh? That guy has not the fast firing, which is a big mistake. Because that's definitely a gun we should be using. Same on the M7. my personal opinion this is at least a better gun. Am I seeing this correctly guys? Am I not just thinking that I am seeing things that aren't real? The fuck man? The fuck? I'm gonna ignore the T14. Screw him. be great to get around that SU, but he probably turned already. Yes, he did. So let's just pretend to be ignoring him. To lure him out of his position. And it actually worked out quite well. Gotta be honest of myself. Come on, check him, Peter. Aim for his track and track him. That's his engine. Nope, that's not quite it. That's a crazy pen. No, gotta use premium now. 
wanted to avoid that as much as I could possibly do. But the gun depression of the Japanese tanks is just incredible. Come on, Chihi. Move. This guy is more um, different or difficult for me to take out, so I'm focusing him. Not that you think I just want to farm him on my own. Because his front is way stronger than the one of the T1 heavy. And the T1 side is also easier penetrable. So I just wanted to deal with the harder enemy first, but... Well, he got in cover now, so let's shoot this guy down. Yep. There we go. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. To take down. Oh, but it works with premium. Okay. It does so much damage though. And that guy does not even have the top gun. And it's not even get started there. Come on, move in type. Because I can't. I can only pen him little by little. Shit, man. Absolute bullshit. Still see me from there. Holy goddamn Jesus. You can see my capola. Nope. I'm fucked. I've basically thrown this game away on my own. What the hell? Come on! This was such a good game and it's just a third class? Really? Like, like really? The hell, I, o I only shoot tier, tier 5s? That's bonus experience. I don't know how much that is. But what? The actual fuck? That's so sad. Ah. <sighs> And it's again this map with the same matchmaking. From the same side. <laughs> Let's see. Stock, stock, and seems to be fully upgraded. Yeah, I think. I can't check for the B1. He's fully upgraded. And the scavenger has the less pen gun. Uh, I'm not too confident about this game. Let's see, they got a Crusader, a Ram Panzer, Scavenger and a T-25. And immediately I feel like killing myself. I mean, I will pen the T-25, no problem. The Scavenger, not in hell's name. Neither the Panzer 5-4. Crusader is also gonna be not the easiest one, but
Why is the Crusader staying there? I'm even getting sniped from the other side. What? Something is shooting into my head. Ah, it was the Crusader. Okay. Well... Not having much expectations to this game. I did not have from the start of it. Yes, show your side armor, mate. Ah, and shoot the track. Still hasn't gone out of spam. Nice. You did good, mate. You were, you were a great support of the team. Uh. And our crusader is blaming him. Even though he was... Ah, uh, what the hell, man? Too late scavenger. He was a bit late as well. Yeah, that's him gone. Good. Uh, saltiness coming up here. Just a little. Let's not talk about this game because it was absolute bullshit. And I guess we're gonna play one or two more games and then end it here. That should make one hour. Quite good. But let's just see how it goes. Now you're messing with me. Now the matchmaker is really messing with me. You kidding? Like what the hell? Three games in a row? The only tier 4? Against heavily armored 82 KV-1 M4 Matilda Pen Rampanzer type? What the fuck? Wargaming! And then even on Himmelsdorf, where our team is way lighter armored. The fuck? They really need to fix how the tanks are selected. At least make the classes that meet each other equal. Like when there's a tier 4 medium, then there has to be a tier 4 medium on the enemy side or something. Because this is unmanageable. And there's the 82. Not having it. Yeah, that 82 is gonna rape me now. And then the Panzer and the ass. The fuck, man! What is this lineup even? And why is he still in spawn? And what is he doing in the middle of the map? <laughs> like what the hell? This is not even fair. Nor balanced. Is he pretending to be a KV-220T of some kind or so?
Yeah, mate, they're behind you, if you have not noticed yet. <laughs> it's just so stupid. It was an instant repair. That's a bot. It's app that has to be a bot. You can't instant repair a track. <laughs> That's a bot. 100%. Let's see. 44. 46. 46. 44. Round it up. 44. And 44. <laughs> 400 average 4k games. 400 average 3k games. 400 average 200 games. 400 500 average 5k games. 300 average 7k games. And 400 average 2k games. The hell? You talking to me? 48. That's good. Even though in the battles. 55, even though the battles. 45, well, the battles. 46, and the battles. 43. 53. 44. Where's the balance? Can anyone tell me where the balance is? Anyone? Maybe? Maybe? Because I can't see it. Can you see it? I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'm not having this. I will probably put um, the averages of like games and damage of the teams at um, the end of the video. If you are interested in it. And I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for everyone who was watching till the end. And see you all again next time. Bye bye.